Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Um, I'm now on question number 12 from this October, November 2020 um, paper 2 variant 1 from the um, Cambridge International GCSE paper. Um, um, this is the extended paper, the 0580 syllabus. Okay, now I'm answering this question um, upon request from one of the students on the channel. Um, and the question here is about polygons it says the interior angle of a regular polygon with n sides is 156 degrees work out the value of n so first of all um, i'm going to go through it in a, a bit of detail to make sure that um, you know that it's understood it's asking us uh, telling us first about this the polygon polygon is a shape which is um, a two-dimensional shape which is enclosed by straight lines by straight lines and a regular polygon is one where all of the angles are the same size and all of the lengths are the same um you know the same length so all all the angles are the same inside the polygon as well as the lengths of the polygons and they're asking about the interior angles okay they're asking about the size of one interior angle of a regular polygon with n sides and it tells us that the, the angle is 156 degrees and we have to find how many sides it has okay we have to find how many sides it has so i'm just going to draw like a little section of a polygon okay so just say that you have this is like a little kind of section of the polygon i haven't of course haven't drawn the whole thing okay now so you have this regular polygon all the angles are the same all the angles are 100 and 56 degrees so that's 156 degrees that's 156 degrees and all the other angles like you know the, the one over here the one over there they're all 156 degrees all these angles are the same okay now we've got to work out how many sides there are now the number of sides and the number of angles are the same okay the number of sides is the same as the number of angles so there's two ways to deal with this question and one of the ways is much easier than the other okay um, I'll show you both ways I'm gonna first show you the easy way and then I'll show you the way that's I find more complicated now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend each of these sides so that we produce what are called the exterior angles okay so I'll extend this side as well and I'll just to to show you the exterior angles on all of these corners okay now each of these exterior angles okay we know are the same because it's a regular polygon so all the interior angles are the same and all the exterior angles are the same as each other now at each corner the exterior angle plus the interior angle add up to 180 degrees so, so this angle here is 180 take away 156 and that's going to give us um, that's going to give us 24 all right because take one there yeah it's 24 so each of these angles are 24 each of these exterior angles are 24 degrees now the reason why I like to work with the exterior angles is because we know that the sum of exterior angles is always the same in any polygon so the sum of the exterior angles in any polygon is always equal to 360 degrees the sum of all the exterior angles no matter how many sides it has whereas the sum of the interior angles depends on the number of sides all right so if we use the exterior angles it's really easy because i want to know how many 24s fit into 360 that will be tell me that will tell me how many exterior angles there are which will tell me how many sides there are because the number of sides is the same as the number of angles so all i have to do now is i have to do 360 divided by the exterior angle which is 24 and that will give me my answer so 360 divided by 24 that gives me 15 so there's 15 sides so the n is equal to 15 okay simple as that so you do 360 360 divided by the exterior angle which is 180 minus the interior angle okay that's going to be the number of sides okay the number of sides is always 360 divided by the size of each exterior angle and that'll tell you how many sides there are because it tells you how many of those angles fit into 360 which will be all the way around Okay, so that's the easy way of dealing with finding the interior, uh, the, the number of sides when you know the interior angle. Okay, the more difficult way is to use the formula, which is 
180 times n minus 2. That's the formula for the sum of all the exterior angles. And if you divide that by the number of sides, that will give you the size of one interior angle, which is 156. Okay, and then you'd have to solve this equation. So you'd say 180 times n minus 2 equals 156n. And then you, that will give you 150n minus 360 equals 156 times n. And then you subtract 156n from both sides. That will give you 24n um, minus 360 equals 0. So 24n equals 360. So you end up with the same thing, 360 over 24. So n is equal to 15. But... You know, this is one way of doing it. It's just perfectly fine to do it this way, actually. This is the size of this is the sum of all the exterior angles divided by the number of sides will tell you the size of one exterior uh, interior angle. Sorry, this is the sum of all the interior angles divided by the number of sides will tell you the size of one interior angle. Okay, and we know that the size of one interior angle in this regular polygon is 156, and then you can find n by solving this equation. But I find this way easier that 360 divided by the exterior angle will give you the number of sides because the sum of exterior angles is always 360 no matter how many angles there are whereas the sum of the interior angles depends on the number of sides if it's a triangle the sum of interior angles is 180 if it's a quadrilateral 360 so so on it changes with the number of sides the more sides there are the bigger the sum of the interior angles all right so um this is a far easier way of dealing with it i think when you dealing with such a question look at the exterior angle always deal in terms of exterior angles because it makes life easier because the sum is always 360 all right so i hope that was clear now that's uh, the answer to number 12 as i said i'm going to answer each of these questions as a separate video so that i can save them as in the playlist as topics as well as the whole paper so if you want to see the rest of the questions on this paper or the ones i've answered from this paper you can go to the playlist that will appear up here if you want to see questions to do with this topic of angle geometry you can go to the playlist over here and if you want to subscribe to the channel you can subscribe by clicking on the link over here thank you for watching and see you soon